I said, so th this is your first time qualifying for NHC, correct? Yep. So what was kind of your expectations going into today, and how was it kind of compared to, to, to how it sort of played for out? For me, it was just to try and get to day two and with the <laughs> chance to make it to day three. Didn't really have any hopes or anything. I was just going to try and pick the horses that I liked, and if they run, they run, and if they don't, they don't for me. Once you got the lead, you had it pretty clearly. What was what got you there? What yeah. was the play? Uh, it was uh, a horse at Golden Gate that paid eighty nine dollars, and then it was uh, the horse at Oakland that was twenty to one. He paid like fifty four, fifty seven bucks. So they got me there. And what did you see in those two that kind of made you take, take you know take those gambles, so to speak? Um, for me, uh, breeding on the three horse, first time starter at Golden Gate. He had some really nice works coming in, and I just thought I'd take a shot on him. And, you know, he ended up flowing up to 41, which was even better. I know the cap yet, 40, 42 and 22, but I had to take a shot. Is that, I'm going down swinging. Is that sort of your philosophy? Did you pick a lot of long shots and those two um, the ones that came in? or Probably about a third of them. A third of them were long. The other third were, you know, I, whoever I thought was the best horse in the race. Because you can't just give away favorites either because you just run out of picks at that point. Especially in the mandatory races, you just got to take what... The racing gods give you, you know what I mean? Get the seat in the BCBC. Yeah. Yes, my wife will be extremely happy about that for sure. We always wanted to go to Keeneland, and you know, for me, it would be a dream to go there. I was going to say, what is your background? What, you know, how long have you been in Cap, and what kind of got you started in that? Uh, well, it was my, my uncle and my dad that used to take me to Rockingham Park, and believe it or not, my uncle used to go head to head with me every single day to. You pick a horse and I'll pick a horse in the same race and whoever gets the highest total is considered the winner. And he would always beat me all the time and I'm like, you know what, I'm tired of this, I'm just going to try and beat him. And then I finally beat him and I've been doing that now for 20 years now. So, And my wife, you know, has been very, very supportive and she's like, you know, just do what you do. She goes, you know, you've been staying in this game forever, you know, why can't you be in the same spot as anybody else. When did you get into contest play? Believe it or not, I only took it serious about this year. I work three jobs, so it's, I work 90 hours a week. So for me, it's, I put my picks in and that's it. So when I come to here, it's, it's great because it's the first time I've been able to pick what I want when I want, you know what I mean, and play it. But the other contests are very, very restricted and I don't, get to make a decision on who I'm going to bet. You know what I mean? Like, so I don't, you do a lot of pick and praise? Um, I do a good amount of them. I had, I had a really good year. Like, you know, best year I've ever had. I've seen races since December. I see them in my head sometimes. You know what I mean? Like, crazy. How, how did you qualify for the NHC? Um, I qualified with one with one race to go. I had a 7-1 shot at Saratoga with Junior Alvarado. And the horse came from off the tailgate. I passed 21 people. Was We're, that an online tournament? Or was yes, it was. I beat 369 people. At the which site was it? Horse Park. So being your, fir your first NHC, what were some of the things you focused on in the days ahead of this to, to get off to a good start? I, I just wanted to pick winners. And, you know, I, I've, I've been, you know, watching horses. And I'm like, you know, there's a couple of horses that I want to see if they come back and run. And, you know, I didn't have any today, but... You know, yeah. the race is tripped out for me. And I got you put a lot of preparation in? Or yeah, it's been about six hours. Gotcha. Yeah, a lot of sleepless nights some do you, days. Do you just not sleep then with two jobs? Yeah, that's yeah. what my wife says. She goes, you're a robot. And I'm what, like, you know, what's probably. the nature of your jobs? I'm sorry, you're talking. Um, I work at Walmart in their warehouse. I own low trucks. And um, I clean for my buddy. I clean bars late at night. So it's sort of like one rolls into the other. So when I get out of work, I go to another. And then on Sundays, I just go to the pizzas for the one day that I'm there. So. Well, Scott Coles obviously won this last year, his first time playing. Is that you take it out as, as a good omen for yourself? Uh, well, today's today, and I'll worry about tomorrow. With Rockingham kind of close and Suffolk closing, do people in that region kind of even follow horse racing? Like, what do your friends say when you say, hey, I'm going to this NHC? Ah, uh, they really don't understand. Yeah. It's a great game, it really is. You know what I mean? I wish people would understand how much, you know, you can really get your blood going if you're, you know, 
if you have on dog and fight. Yeah. So would you say contest play has helped fill the void with uh, not having live racing in? Uh, yeah. Of course you can bet online too. Yeah. Yeah. I, see, for me, I like outsmarting my contemporaries. It's good. It makes me feel great. Like I pulled one over on all.